If you were a Harvard senior, you have been part of one of the most successful Ivy League football programs in history. You have earned a record three consecutive Ivy League titles. You have won 36 out of 40 games. And with a ninth straight triumph in the game, you have put your stamp on four proud years. This is the story of that final unforgettable season. As Harvard prepares for its 142nd season of college football, the Crimson find themselves in the midst of an unparalleled period of success. Coach Tim Murphy's teams have climbed to the top of the Ivy League five of the last eight years. They are coming off a 2014 season when they finished 10-0 for only the second time in over a century. Senior quarterback Scott Hush brings a perfect record of 6-0 into the 2015 season while returning all-Ivy running back Paul Stanton Jr. has gained more than 2,000 career rushing yards. The Crimson defense, which was the best in the football championship subdivision a year ago, will be powered by senior captain Matt Corrin. The goal is to build on the accomplishments of the past and turn the present into another shining example of the pride and poise that is Harvard football. After an absence of more than 90 years, Harvard and Rhode Island would do battle in the Crimson's 2015 opener. Oh, 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 oh. Ranked number 25 in the country and sporting new helmets, Harvard displayed its dominance throughout the game. Senior quarterback Scott Hush from Sugar Hill, Georgia, would throw for 336 yards, three touchdowns, and was honored as Ivy League Offensive Player of the Week. Spreading the success, five different receivers finished with more than 50 yards each, an all-time first for Harvard football. The Crimson finished their scoring with one for the record books. Coming off the bench, quarterback Jimmy Meyer from Rosewell, Georgia, threw his first ever collegiate pass. His target, Justice Shelton Mosley, who made his first ever collegiate reception for, you guessed it, his first ever collegiate touchdown. It was all Harvard, 41 to 10. It had been more than two years, a total of 23 games, since Harvard scored at least 53 points. They reached that total in their home opener against Brown, posting touchdowns on the ground, through the air, and from the defense. Wearing black jerseys and crimson pants for the first time ever, Harvard quickly ignited the crowd of more than 15,000. It began with a 25-yard bullet from Scott Hush to Jack Stansel. The first career touchdown for the sophomore tight end from Dothan, Alabama. The defense demanded its turn to torment the Bears, and they got what they desired. Clean snap, look out! He takes the hit, the ball is loose, it's on the turf, and it is recovered for a Harvard touchdown. Coach Murphy would comment, we got on a roll on both sides of the ball. How right he was. Push pitched two more touchdowns, a short toss to Saitu Smith just inside the end zone, and a 12-yard strike to tight end Ben Broniker, who leaped between three defenders for the score. The margin stood at 37 to nothing at the half, and the highlight of the final 30 minutes was the north-south speed of Noah Reimers. Crimson have it back. Now Reimers got a big hole, 15-10. Goodbye, Reimers to the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson. 28 yards, just like that. The freshman from Leesburg, Virginia, earned Ivy League Rookie of the Week for his 60 yards rushing and a pair of scores. The 53-27 thumping of the Bears was Harvard's fifth in a row over the visitors from Providence and 15th consecutive victory in their home opener. Against Georgetown, Harvard's offense burned their opponents for six rushing touchdowns. Harvard's defense slammed the door on the visitors. And with the 45 to nothing shutout, Tim Murphy earned his 150th victory as Crimson head coach. 
After three games, Harvard's 139 points scored were the most ever to begin a season under their head coach. Coming through studying on your lanes. I'm about to do my thing. Watch me. Take a picture, flick, flick up on the right side. Watch me do my thing. Harvard's win streak reached 18 at Cornell as the defense created opportunities and the offense turned them into points. Three sacks, three interceptions, and a fumble recovery highlighted the day for a dominating defense. A steal by junior Eric Ryan of Newington, Connecticut, set the table for a 19-yard scoring pass. Direct snap to Hush. He had three wide to the right. He's going to look here to the left. Got a man, Ferkser. Is he in? Yep. Touchdown, Crimson. Hush would attack the Cornell secondary for two additional long-distance scores. One to senior Ben Broniker, who escaped two defenders and trotted into the end zone. A second was pulled in by a speedy freshman from Sacramento, California. Shelton Mosley would finish with 163 all-purpose yards, while Hush became the first quarterback in school history to start his career with 10 consecutive victories. With the defense keeping the Big Red out of their end zone and the offense capitalizing on Cornell turnovers, Harvard smashed the school record, winning its 13th consecutive Ivy League game. On the road, the morning of game day is a time to relax and focus. The atmosphere is casual. The players grab some breakfast and begin to concentrate on the task ahead. Game plans are set and the squad is prepared. A quick bus ride to Lafayette College, where each player heads for the locker room, ready to contribute to another Harvard football triumph. The Crimson were up for the challenge and completely handcuffed the Leopards' offense. Harvard's goal was to hold Lafayette under 100 yards rushing. Led by linebacker Eric Mead to Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and defensive end Langston Ward from Spokane, Washington, they did more than that, limiting the home team to minus 18 yards on the ground. The Leopards never ran a play from inside the Harvard 10-yard line. The scoring drought has been so successful that for the third consecutive game, an opponent was prevented from scoring a touchdown. The last time that happened was in 1930. On offense, the Crimson racked up 500 total yards. Two wide outs either way for Hush. Takes the shotgun snap. Fires it down middle. Bronica wide open. Catches at the eight and waltzes into the end zone for a touchdown. The Crimson have scored five or more touchdowns in each contest this season. And their 221 points in the first five games is the most to begin a season since 1892. Harvard completed its 19th straight triumph and second shutout of the season, 42 to nothing. For the 108th time, it's Harvard, Princeton, in one of the oldest rivalries in college football. And this one featured a crimson offense that rolled to an astounding 647 total yards. Behind a game-tested offensive line, led by seniors Anthony Fabiano of Wakefield, Mass., Adam Redman of Strongsville, Ohio, Cole Toner of Greenwood, Indiana, along with junior Max Rich from Portland, Oregon, and sophomore Larry Allen Jr. from Danville, California, the Crimson attack dominated high and low. Motion from Saitu Smith. Hutch is rolling against the grain. Now sets his feet. Looking. Got a man wide open. Touchdown, Ben Broniker. Broniker and Andrew Fisher from Diamond Bar, California, combined for 17 receptions and a total of 323 yards between them the highest single game total for a pair of Crimson receivers in three years. On the other end, Scott Hush pitched for 437 yards, the third most in school history. Hush 
the triumph was more than an explosion of offense. The Crimson D, sparked by linebackers Matt Corrin from Joliet, Illinois, and Jacob Lindsay from Cleves, Ohio, shut down an opponent with seven points or less for the fourth consecutive game. A final period acrobatic pick by Asante Gibson from Chula Vista, California, put the crowning touch on Harvard's 20th straight victory, 42 to seven. After six games, the Crimson has limited their opponents to 47 points while scoring 263. The setting was perfect. Two undefeated teams. A crisp autumn evening at Harvard Stadium. Ivy League supremacy up for grabs. And for more than three and one half quarters, the home team was stymied. They could not score a point against the big green of Dartmouth. And then the Crimson came alive. Midway through the final period, trailing 13 to nothing, Harvard initiated a classic comeback. On fourth and 12, the end zone a distant 39 yards away, Scott Hush spotted Saitu Smith. Fourth and 12, Hush drops back, looking left, shuffles forward, throws Smith, downfield, leaping grab wow. for a touchdown wow. at the pylon, wow. he pulled it in! Wow. And finally, the Crimson has something to celebrate. The Crimson cut Dartmouth's lead to six and needed a crucial stop. They got it when Jacob Lindsay punched the ball loose and Matt Corrin pounced on it. Harvard worked an 11 play drive covering a tough 49 yards. With less than a minute on the clock and the game on the line, Push rolled out and fired to Justice Shelton Mosley. A second look shows three receivers flooded an area covered by four Dartmouth defenders. Shelton Mosley parked just inside the goal line and Hush alertly found him for the decisive score. With the extra point by Kenny Smart from Modesto, California, the Crimson took their first lead of the game after trailing for some 59 minutes and 32 seconds. But Harvard's hearts were still thumping when Dartmouth battled back to set up for a 46-yard field goal attempt with one second remaining. The snap is there, the hold, the kick is blocked! Harvard wins! Harvard wins. Seven and oh! All in a breeze! Had him all the way! What a game! The block by Stonehart from Olympia, Washington preserved Harvard's 12th straight victory over Dartmouth. Three Crimson athletes earned Ivy League Player of the Week honors. Senior Jacob Lindsay with seven stops, one sack, and his dramatic forced fumble. Top defensive player. Senior Scott Hush with two game-deciding touchdown passes. Offensive Player of the Week. And freshman Justice Shelton Mosley, Rookie of the Week. Harvard's 21st consecutive victory would have to rank as one of the most exciting finishes ever in 142 years of Crimson football. It could have been a letdown game. Harvard coming off their incredible come from behind triumph a week earlier. But the Crimson exploited their big play skills against Columbia and secured their 22nd consecutive triumph. Midway through the second period, Scott Hush launched an aerial that found Ben Bronica for a 53-yard score. The Crimson long-distance attack was just getting warmed up. Short drop, looking, 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 throwing to a wide open side to Smith. Quick shot out here to uh, Shelton Mosley. Mosley with some running room. He's got more than the first down. He dies for the pylon, and he's in. Touchdown, Harvard. As many opponents discovered, when the ball finds Shelton Mosley, watch out. Bad decision by Columbia. They kicked it to the speedy freshman. The 86-yard return was the third longest for a touchdown in school history. Justice Shelton Mosley, he's still on his feet. He breaks another tackle. He comes out of the pack. Shelton Mosley is going to go all the way for a touchdown. Wow. 
for his 270 all-purpose yards, including eight receptions. Shelton Mosley earned Ivy Offensive Player of the Week and National Freshman of the Week honors. Led by linebacker Eric Meads, nine tackles, the Crimson defense kept Columbia out of the end zone until the final period. With the 24-16 victory, Harvard gained its 16th consecutive Ivy win and 14th straight road triumph, both school records. Following a setback against Penn, the Crimson were determined to retain their position sitting atop the Ivy League. In quest of their school record third straight Ivy title, Harvard invaded Yale for the 132nd game in this oldest rivalry in college sports. It didn't take long for Harvard's senior quarterback to turn his final collegiate game into a showcase for his take charge ability. Late in the first period, Scott Hush unloaded a 53-yard bomb to Justice Shelton Mosley, running free behind several Bulldogs. Before the game was over, Hush would set the school's single-season passing record with 2,827 yards and be named Ivy League Player of the Week. Looking to improve his record to 16-1 as Crimson quarterback, Hush again found one of the most exciting young receivers in college football. Hush steps up in the pocket, looking deep, has Shelton Mosley open at the five, touchdown Crimson! The Crimson took the lead and never looked back. Their aerial game was humming. A highlight film diving one-handed catch by Anthony Ferkser of Manalapan, New Jersey, put Harvard in scoring range. A few plays later, Hush found Ben Broniker leaping high in the back of the end zone. The score completed a dominating 89-yard drive. The Crimson expanded their advantage when Hush fired his fourth scoring pass of the game, tying the school record. He steps back. Hush is looking to the end zone. Got a man complete. Touchdown, Crimson. Broniker. In the final period, Shelton Mosley accomplished what few players have completed during their freshman seasons, rushing for a touchdown, throwing for a TD, and catching at least one touchdown. And he was named Ivy Rookie of the Week for the fourth time. With senior linebackers Jacob Lindsay and Eric Meads combining for 19 total tackles, the Crimson held the home team to less than 40 yards rushing. With a national television audience watching the 38-19 victory, Harvard completed its 14th win over Yale in the past 15 battles, including a record nine in a row. And Tim Murphy earned his 17th victory in the game, a coaching first for either school. Harvard closed the book on 2015, winning a share of their third consecutive Ivy League championship, a first for Crimson football. For the seniors, their four-year record of 36 wins against only four setbacks is the second to none in Harvard history. As a team, they topped the ancient eight in total offense with 4,742 total yards. That's just under 475 yards per game. Nine players were named first-team All-Ivy. Quarterback Scott Hush established the Crimson single-season passing record finished 15 and one as a starter, was named team most valuable player and New England player of the year. A repeat first teamer, senior running back Paul Stanton Jr. from Kenner, Louisiana, led the Ivy League in rushing and finished with nine touchdowns. Senior tight end Ben Broniker from Ferdinand, Indiana, topped the Ivy League with more than 17 yards per catch and was second in the league with eight touchdown receptions. Three seniors from the offensive line were honored. 6'7", 300-pound Cole Toner, 6'5", 290-pound Anthony Fabiano, and 6'6", 290-pound Adam Redman. All three helped the Crimson lead the ancient eight in points per game. Freshman Justice Shelton Mosley was acclaimed Ivy League Rookie of the Year. He accounted for nearly 600 yards and six touchdowns on receptions, and his 19-yard average on punt returns was the highest mark in school history. He was named Rookie of the Week four times, tying the conference record. Senior linebacker Eric Meads finished with 59 tackles and tied for the team lead with six tackles for a loss. And defensive back Sean Ahern from Cincinnati, Ohio, 
led the league with two block kicks and was named Harvard's 143rd team captain for 2016. Nine Harvard players were named All-Ivy second team. 2015 will go down in history as a season where the Crimson answered the challenge of being defending champions, climbed to the top of the Ivy League once again, and continued to build on the success that is Harvard Crimson football. Harvard, victory today.